Hi, it's Natalie Bartles. I'm going to give you a tutorial today on Elizabethan beauty. So, I'm going to pull up my hair really quick um, in something that I think looks Elizabethan. So, as you can see, I've put like a double braid here. Um, in the Elizabethan era, if you wanted to be accurate, you'd have to pluck back your forehead like an inch. I can't do this accent. I can't keep it up. It's bad, and I can't do it. So if you're wondering, like, why I haven't got better lighting, it's because it makes me look more ghostly pale, which is more accurate to the beauty standards of Elizabethan England. So if I wanted to be really true, I would shave my eyebrows, but I'm not going to do that because that was considered fair then, and uh, instead I'm going to show you a trick. So this is like my favorite product available. It's um, it's just baby powder. Um, so I'm going to use baby powder to conceal my eyebrows, but it's not going to do it just on its own. So you're going to apply glue to your eyebrows and it will make the baby powder stick. Oh, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm very good at this. So that doesn't seem to make very much of a difference. Um, it's about the same without the glue. So if you wanted to be really accurate, you would use um, a lead-based powder uh, with vinegar, but I couldn't find any lead-based uh, products. So, I was thinking, if you wanted to recreate it, you could just use some deodorant that has aluminum in it and put that all over your face because that's also toxic. Um, that's an option. Or, if you don't use that, you can just use baby powder, which I've also heard is toxic. So as you can see, I've got a really good um, fair base going on. Um, if this was a little later in the period, I could add a splash of color, uh, coral or something. I can't do this. What's really sad is I like this actually because I'm an anglophile. Uh, so light. So, in Elizabethan beauty, what also was beautiful was, uh, red lips. So... So it was really fashionable to have small red lips, which is why I've only applied the lipstick to a small part of my lips so that I look like the Queen of Hearts. For the last step in my tutorial, I've made a collar to put around my neck.
And there you have it, my completed Elizabethan beauty tutorial.